160,000 light years away from Earth, deep in the heart of the Tarantula Nebula, lie two celestial lovers, VFTS-352. Who should really get a room at this point? This is Mr. Scientific and in the next two minutes, let me explain. At first glance, they might look like your average star couple. But don't be fooled. This is no ordinary long distance relationship. These two massive stars are so close that their outer layers have actually merged and their atmosphere now overlap. Basically, these stars are kissing so hard that they have melted into each other. Each of them is about 28 times the mass of our sun and they orbit one another ridiculously fast. They are in such an intense phase that it is impossible to tell where one ends and the other one begins. And this love affair is melting as they are burning at a mind-blowing 40,000 degrees Celsius. So what happens next? Are we going to see a baby star out of this cosmic romance? Well, it's not that easy. There are actually two possibilities on how this relationship ends. And don't worry, they are not going to break up because we have gravity holding them together, so they do not have that option. The first possibility is that these two stars might fully merge into a single ultramassive star. But this ultramassive star is going to be very unstable and it will eventually end up in a supernova explosion due to the combined mass of these two stars. So they will literally go out with a bang. The second possibility is that these two lovers would keep orbiting side by side, but eventually they will run out of fuel and collapse under their own gravity and result in the birth of a small baby black hole. But don't get too excited. The baby black hole is going to be 60 times the mass of our sun and it could literally devour earth in seconds, not that it will. So whether they explode or give birth, leave a like and subscribe and I will keep you updated on this cosmic drama.